what are the causes of dogs vomiting white foam? It said that if you are not feeling well, you should never look up your symptoms online, or you might start thinking the symptoms of your common cold are something that could kill you. The same can sometimes be true about looking up information about your pet's health. The good news is that if your dog is throwing up white foam, you're probably in the clear because it is probably not a cause for serious concern. Of course, in most cases, it is better to have him looked over by a veterinarian just to be sure. Dog throwing up white foam. One of the most common reasons for a dog to be vomiting white foam or slime is simply because she has indigestion. Dogs get indigestion just as often as people, only vomiting is a more common symptom in canines. Usually, when dogs throw up white foam, it is just to expel the substance that's bothering their stomach. Indigestion can be caused by eating or drinking too fast, eating too much, eating trash, eating too much grass, having an issue with something in their food, or many other things that can upset a stomach. As long as your dog isn't vomiting too frequently, you shouldn't be too concerned. If she does have these types of symptoms regularly, check her food because she could have an issue with one of the ingredients, or she may be eating too quickly. You can try giving her a spoonful of pumpkin to see if that soothes the stomach. If she continues vomiting or is doing so on a regular basis, take her to the vet. Acid reflux symptoms. If your dog tends to vomit white or yellow foam before eating in the morning, your pooch might have acid reflux, which happens when your dog's gastrointestinal tract is irritated by stomach acid, which is more problematic when the stomach is empty. Reducing the amount of food you give your dog at each feeding and feeding him more often can help prevent the buildup of stomach acid and reduce the likelihood that he'll vomit. Coughing up foam. It is important to note that it can be easy to mistake vomiting up white foam for coughing, which can result in white foam since saliva becomes foamy when filled with air. This is a common mistake to make, and dogs coughing up white foam and clear liquid could have kennel cough. Kennel cough is sort of like the dog version of a common cold, as it is incredibly contagious but usually mild, generally clearing up on its own after a week or so. The most common symptom is a notable hacking or honking cough that sometimes produces white foam, although other symptoms can include lethargy, a runny nose, and reduced appetite. You can prevent your dog from getting kennel cough completely by ensuring her Bordetella vaccine is up to date. When to seek help immediately. While most cases of dogs vomiting white foam are nothing more than indigestion, it can be a symptom of something much more dangerous. A dog vomiting white foam could also be showing signs of parvovirus, pancreatitis, kidney problems, or bloat. If your dog demonstrates any of the following symptoms, he could have a potentially deadly condition and should immediately be brought to the vet. Bloody diarrhea, dehydration, disorientation, excessive drooling, fever, inability to defecate, lowering his head and front legs while keeping his rear end in the air, pain in the abdomen, pale gums, problems urinating, weakness. Why is my dog vomiting white phlegm? You just noticed that your dog is vomiting white foam slime, and so many questions are racing through your head. Why is my dog coughing up this thick white mucus? Did he eat something bad? Did he get into the garbage? Did he swallow a stick or a foreign object? Is he going to be okay? It can be sad to see your dog in this state. However, by doing a little research and taking him to the veterinarian as soon as possible, you can figure out the root cause of your dog vomiting white foam slime and make sure that he gets better as soon as possible. Dogs coughing up thick white mucus. Your dog may be simply coughing up the white phlegm, or your dog is coughing up white foam and clear liquid. Either way, when your dog is vomiting white foam slime, it usually is not much of a cause for concern. There are a few causes of this happening. For instance, dogs experience indigestion, and your dog's body may be trying to rid itself of something that is hurting in the stomach. Your dog may have eaten her food or drank her water a bit too fast, and now she has an upset stomach. The vomiting relieves that bad feeling. 
perhaps your dog has kennel cough, a mild sickness that dogs contract from one another. It usually goes away within 7 to 10 days, but it can result in your dog coughing up white foam and clear liquid. Your dog will also have a hacking cough if she does indeed have kennel cough. Like humans, dogs get acid reflux as well, and that can lead to a dog vomiting white foam slime. Making sure that your dog eats smaller meals more frequently can prevent the stomach from accumulating the acid and bile that cause acid reflux in the first place. Serious Sicknesses in Dogs In some cases, your dog vomiting white foam slime can signal a much bigger issue. He may have bloat, for example, which causes a dog's stomach to expand. Along with throwing up, your dog may also cough, be constipated, and drool excessively if he is experiencing bloat. If you notice these symptoms, you need to take him to the vet or the pet emergency room right away since bloat can be deadly. Pancreatitis is another disease where one of the symptoms is your dog vomiting white foam slime. It is marked by inflammation in the pancreas, and other symptoms include weakness, diarrhea, and a lack of appetite. Again, your dog will need help right away if he has this illness. Some puppies get parvovirus, which results in your dog vomiting white foam slime. Your puppy may also have a fever, be lethargic, and have bloody diarrhea. If your dog has kidney disease, he might cough up white foam and have trouble urinating, be lethargic, and experience disorientation. If you notice any parovirus or kidney disease symptoms, go to the vet or petter as soon as possible. Treating your dog. Once you've taken your dog to the vet and figured out what's happening, your vet is likely to recommend a few things. You may have to restrict your dog's food or at least alter her diet until she starts to feel better. Typically, you'll feed your dog simple foods like bland chicken and rice in small quantities. Your vet may also recommend putting bananas, oatmeal, and pumpkin into your dog's food to help her upset stomach. Once you see that she is eating this food and getting a little better, you can slowly switch back to her regular dog food. Following Prevention Practices The best way to help your dog is to prevent him from vomiting in the first place. If you're feeding your pup low-quality dog food, it may not agree with his stomach, so you'll have to switch to a better brand. You can ask your veterinarian what type of food your dog will need. For instance, if he's older, he'll need a senior formula, and if he is of a certain breed that has indigestion issues when it comes to various foods, you'll want a dog food that does not include those harmful ingredients. Let's say your dog throws up a lot because he is eating too fast. You can slow down his feeding times in a number of ways. You can purchase a slow feeder bowl that is designed to make wolfing down food impossible. If you have the time, you can hand feed your dog or play hide and seek with his food outside by placing small quantities of it around the yard. Another creative way to slow down eating is to put your dog's food into individual muffin tins so that he has to go from tin to tin to get what he wants. If you have a cookie sheet, you can spread his food around it, which means he'll have to lick up the food instead of eating it in a few quick bites. Addressing Water Issues to stop your dog from drinking too fast, you also have a few different choices. You can get another slow feeder bowl and fill it with water instead. You also need to make sure you're giving your dog enough water in the first place or else she'll become dehydrated and gulp up water quickly when she sees it. The general rule is to give your adult pup around one ounce of water per each pound of her body weight every day, but puppies drink a lot more. They need around half a cup of water every two hours. If your dog has issues with drinking water, you can always give her ice cubes as well. When going out for a walk, especially on a hot summer day, make sure you take some water for your dog to sip on so she's not parched by the time you get home. Taking the necessary precautions can hopefully keep your dog from vomiting white foam slime and ensure she is as happy and comfortable as possible at all times. Thank you very much for watching the video. How to tell if your dog has parvo.
Canine parvovirus infection also called parvo is a highly contagious gastrointestinal disease with a high mortality rate. The virus is common in puppies. Experienced dog owners and breeders often panic when they suspect one of their dogs has parvo, they know how quickly the condition advances and how lethal it can be. If your dog has parvo, getting to a veterinarian quickly can increase the odds of survival, but the symptoms of parvo can be confused with the symptoms of other canine diseases, including coronavirus infection, bacterial hemorrhagic enteritis, coccidiosis, and hookworm infestation. Recognizing the symptoms of parvo. Consider your dog's age. Parvo typically occurs in puppies between 6 and 20 weeks of age, and 85% of all infections occur in dogs under 1 year old. Puppies are most susceptible because they have a very high number of rapidly dividing cells in their stomachs and intestines, these cells are the primary target of the parvo virus. If your dog is older, parvo is unlikely, though certainly not impossible. If your puppy's mother was not vaccinated against parvo, it's possible for the virus to appear even earlier, in the first few weeks of life. Factor in your dog's breed. Parvo is more likely in certain breeds, including Rottweilers, American Pit Bull Terriers, Doberman Pinchers, and German Shepherds. If your dog belongs to one of these groups, be particularly vigilant in watching for parvo. Monitor your dog's behavior. In general, the first sign of a parvo infection is lethargy. Your puppy may become less active, eventually retreating to a corner and staying put. This lethargy is typically followed by weakness and loss of appetite. The signs are rapidly progressive with a quiet dog quickly becoming critically ill with foul, bloody diarrhea. Watch for fever. Dogs with parvo usually develop a fever between 104 and 106 degrees Fahrenheit 40 to 41 C. Pay attention to vomiting. Parvo destroys the stomach, which is full of the rapidly dividing cells that the virus targets. The stomach lining becomes irritated and ulcerated, causing your dog to vomit. Pay attention to your dog's stools. Typically the diarrhea associated with parvo is particularly severe. It is as if the dog is passing blood, a very liquid and foul-smelling diarrhea. This may lead to dehydration as well. Check for signs of anemia. Parvo causes gastrointestinal bleeding, which can lead to anemia. To see if your dog might be anemic, press down on the gums. A healthy dog's gums will quickly return to their normal color, usually within two seconds. If it takes longer, your dog may be anemic. Anemia may also lead to a noticeable paleness of the gums. 